Yeah, that's my baby, I'ma love him forever No doubt about it, my word about it That's my baby, and when we ain't together I'm not myself, I don't want nobody else I'ma run What's up, up TV, TV Nation? Nation? What's going on? We are back with a brand new video and today's video we are doing we are reacting to things that girls do that they won't admit. This video has been going around lately and <laughs> I just feel like you guys are just so nosy. Like why do you guys want to know <laughs> things that we won't admit to? Like let us rock. I'm pretty sure there's things that guys do that you guys probably would like be like that's kind of weird. I just feel like guys and girls can't like compare. Like you can't relate to me. Well, and I can't yeah, obviously, to you. but there's there's gonna be things that you guys want to know about us too. Trey um, went online and got some questions. Yeah, we got some for questions me. here. He has them written down in my little notebook. He has. I'm not gonna do them in order. Though. Before we get into this video, I want you guys to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the bell if you guys are brand new to this channel. How are you guys feeling the pink vibe? Let's see what I'm gonna ask you first. Have you ever pulled your panties to the side and peed? I've done that before when I'm in a rush, or especially now that like I've been wearing like a faja or whatever, like something really, really like tight. If I really have to go, or even if I'm in public, like I will drop down my pants and move my whole underwear to the side. So you won't take off your underwear, you just... No, but that's what I'm saying. I only do it when I have a faja on because okay. I have a faja and then I have underwear under it. So I like push everything to the side and I pee. Like I don't get... And you don't get it on your hands? I don't get it on my hands. I don't get dirty at all. Like I know what I'm doing. Like I know where my <laughs> hole is. I know where the freaking toilet is. Like it just goes. So yeah, I've done that before. It's right. like a so that pack. that will only be like a public thing. Yeah, like a public thing, or like if we're like rushing out of the house and like, okay. oh my god, I have to pee before I go, type of thing. Like I'm already all dressed, like you know. I mean, yeah, I guess I guess the speed really matters in that kind of situation. Like if you're not in a rush, like I don't understand why you would do it. But if like me, if I'm in a rush and I'm already fully dressed. Yeah. And I have a faja on and I have my jeans on and everything. Like it's so annoying to like pull down everything so pretty much the summary of this is pretty much the speed on how fast you have to pee that's how i see it i get it i yeah. get it using your bra as a pocket i don't think you do that i do I like when really, i don't i really never see you do okay that. maybe not anymore but sometimes yeah like i'll put like my card in my in my bra oh no actually no i see i think i've seen you do that before. or like money in my in my bra or like even my phone can go on my bra because like sometimes my jeans don't have pockets but i, I actually pockets. think that's like a normal thing for girls though yeah i feel like we all do it yeah like it's a life hack as well because you know what like nobody can go in there and check and you can't lose it either well you could you could lose it but it's very unlikely yeah so I definitely do that. Mastering removing your bra with a shirt on. Definitely, definitely. Especially, <laughs> it's so funny because when I'm in public and sometimes my bra is irritating me, I'll like be in the car. Remember how I would be in the car yeah. and take off my bra? I've definitely mastered it because you know what? It's so annoying to do the extra mile. Take off your shirt, take off your bra. But doesn't that like on. stretch out your shirt? Like when you in there going crazy <laughs> like. Fucking, you know? I mean, yeah, like it's actually like probably the same thing, but it's just like I've done it before. I've okay. I've mastered it. I've I also mastered to take off like um or put on my underwear like at the beach. Well, like take off my underwear right, and put my underwear on. Have you mastered taking off your underwear with jeans? On? No, there's no way you could do that. <laughs> there's no way you could do that. Yo, tell me in the comments if any girl has ever tried doing that. There's no way of doing that. Like I, <laughs> someone's gonna put in the comments. I've done it. I've done it. <laughs> no, there's no way because jean requires two freaking legs and underwear requires two legs. So either way, unless your underwears are buttons. Or All right, something. but your arms are also two. Yeah, but it but you can leave this shirt on. It it really depends on what shirt you have on. Like if I have like, this sweater right, on right now, I can yeah, master you can on taking it. off my bra. All right, but what about a really really tight shirt? 
I'd still master it. But it so? would just be like a little more extra work for me. Just so shaving, shaving my legs when I'm when they're gonna be shown. Yeah. Well, with me, my hair is very light. Yeah. Like the the color of my hair is very light. So if I go like weeks without shaving, people won't really notice. So I like right now, you guys won't probably notice, but I have hair. I have hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have hair. Like, if you, like, look really close to it, then yeah. But me, personally, I live in Florida, and it's to the point where if he can point it out, or if I can definitely point it out, then I'll shave. But other than that, like, my hair is very light. Honestly, so. I, I really can never tell if she has hair or not. Exactly. So I feel like for me, I'm good on that. Like, I don't really have to shave it. But I'm pretty sure, months, like, if I really, really look, mm -hmm, maybe you'll see it. Yeah, but like, that's what I'm saying. But like, see, there's other girls that their hair is dark, so like, you can see that you can shit. See it. So <laughs> yeah, so the w girls do do that. So like, if we're going to a party or like, if we're go if we're wearing a skirt or shorts, it depends on the weather too. You know, in New York, like, yeah. we can go the whole winter without shaving our legs. <laughs> when the spring comes, when like the shorts come, the skirts come, the dresses come, yes. You have to shave those legs but me i'm lucky enough to have light hair and not have much hair grow back when i shave all right peeing in the shower mm -hmm. i i think a lot of people do this like if you don't you, do it i don't do it by myself i'll do it oh really by myself I'll so do when it. we shower i'd be like you because like what if, what if i piss on you accidentally like, i mean the water is right there to wash <laughs> okay it but look but look i know a lot of people do this i know you have done it at least one time i've done it i do it all the time like i, I know i'm just saying like if you're gonna sit here and say you no, have not I done it once, done it. you're weird. You're, 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 no, it's not. It's not. No, you're, you're weird. weird. You're lying. You're weird and you're lying. Like, <laughs> stop. Like, we all freaking do it. We're in the shower. We're all getting clean. Like, it's the same thing as freaking sitting in the bathtub filled of your dirty water. So come on. Like, what's so wrong with peeing in the stand-up shower? Like, True. it goes right into the drain and you're cleaning yourself. So, yeah, I've done it and I do it all the see, time. See, the difference between that and a pool, like a public pool. Oh, that's different. See, that, that's nasty. That's you, different. You don't, you don't do that. You that's, don't do that. You don't, you don't. You don't do that. You don't clean yourself. <laughs> and you're, like, swimming in it. Yeah, with a that's whole bunch of other people, but, you know. I definitely do that, so I don't give a... Wearing the same bra. Wearing the same bra... I do it. You know why? Because I don't wear bras often. I don't oh, need yeah. a bra. That's true. She really don't wear bras. I don't wear bras. So when I wear a bra, like, okay, I'll wear it the whole entire day. And if the next day I'm going to wear it, I'm going to wear the same bra. So I have, like, probably, like, three bras. Like, push-up bras. And then I have sports bras. So sports bras are just so my boobs can stay up. Like, right now I have one on. Let me... No, I can't really show you. I have a bodysuit. But, um... I can wear a bra like twice, like two times, like Monday, Tuesday, okay. and then I wear a bra, and then I wear a bra again. It just really depends on what you're doing. So like, you just have a schedule for your bra. Yeah, like whenever I want to wear a bra, I'll wear it, you know. It depends on what I'm wearing. So um, it also depends on what you're doing. Like if you're going to the gym or if you know you're going somewhere where you're going to be sweating a lot, then obviously, you know that's different but if you're just wearing it around the house just to have your boobs like in place so, like i don't see a problem with so it. what i'm going to say about this is i get it i get it completely because yeah. guys do we do the same shit like we like we'll probably wear like the same t-shirt no not even like we'll probably wear the same underwear for like two days well, that's me. I will do it for like two days. Because after two days, it, it shit is wild. I just feel like people like are just so like judgmental. Because like, we, like, we watched. Wearing it one day, wearing it one day is enough. Or wearing it two days is no, it's not. Like if you're <laughs> not doing anything, like why are you changing? We watched, we watched like um a couple videos. Of videos on this. And like some guys do actually have problems with that. Yeah, like they're like, ew, like we need to change every single day. Like if I'm not doing anything... If I'm not sweating, if I'm just chilling at home, like, I'm a bee. Like, I, I say if your girl's comfortable with it and she feels like it's not nasty, then, Like, I mean, do you, 
Like personally, I don't think so because it's just a bra. Like, do you smell my boobs? Like, <laughs> like yeah, like with who, a stinky scent. Like, stench. like who goes ahead and just smells someone's boobs? Like, but like you wouldn't know. Like that's what I'm saying. Like you, yeah. you're always like in love with my I, boobs. So do you ever like go and like you know smell and you smell like nah. a weird smell or like sweaty smell? No, nah. exactly. Like. It all depends on you and your body. Like, if you know that you, you get a lot of boob sweat, then all right, like, chill. <laughs> this is not even a question on here. But do girls use deodorant under their boobs? That's actually a good question. I don't think so. Well, I never really thought because about it. But you know what they do? They put baby powder under their, their, their boobs so it doesn't get that boob sweat. So it's just dry. See, I, I think that would be something that a girl wouldn't admit because it probably look crazy down there. <laughs> I think I would admit it, like if I know I have a lot of boob sweat, because a lot of girls, when I was pregnant, remember I used to get a lot of boob sweat because I was extremely hot. Mm -hmm. A lot of girls would DM me like, put pop baby powder under, so a lot of girls do do well, it. A lot of girls do suffer from boob sweat. <laughs> examining your tampon afterwards. I definitely do that because I need to see what my period is like. I need to see the color. I need to see if it's heavy. I need to see if it's light. So I definitely do that. I, it's not to sound weird. It's just to check like if my period level, P, my period pH levels are regular, you know? So I so definitely- So what do you mean by that? Like, like, so like if I if ever- If you're bleeding too much or like, If I'm bleeding too much, I need like another type of tampon or like if I'm bleeding less, like, okay, cool. Like I know my period is like dying down or like if it's the beginning of the, of my cycle, like I know like- Okay. What to, but I definitely do that. So it's really basically like, it's basically like checking if you're at the right place in, in your period. I mean, I guess that's how I see it. Like I only check it if, I only ch I check it. That's it. So like like in the beginning, you'll be bleeding a lot, obviously. So then like you'll know like okay, so this is normal. Uh huh. Exactly. And then, and then like towards the end, if you're still bleeding a lot, then it's not. It's normal. like weird, you know. But at the end, like it always dials wow. down. That's actually pretty interesting. I'm not so I definitely always check my tampon. I always make sure it's not bleeding. Like if I'm heavy, it's not bleeding through my underwear. Um and yeah, just to check like if I'm bleeding still. <laughs> <laughs> investigating your discharge oh my god i feel like as a woman when we have discharge is something very like ins insecure especially for me because like um sometimes i do get discharged that's very weird that's very like like a like an ugly color or like even like a clear color where it's like really like what the hell is that so i do examine it for sure um I investigate, I look on Google, I freaking <laughs> ask my sisters like what the hell, you know, just to make sure that I'm good, making sure it's not a yeast infection or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I even smell it. Bro, there's really a lot to like. That's what I'm saying, like these type of things, like you guys, you guys can't <laughs> judge because you guys don't know like what it's like. Well, I'm not, I'm not judging. No, I know, I'm not saying, saying you, I'm just saying guys in general, like these videos, it's like, you guys can't freaking relate because you guys don't know half the shit that we go through. Yeah. But when it comes to discharge, that makes me really insecure. And you know that. I've yeah, been telling yeah, you. Like, yeah. I don't even want him to touch me because, like, if I smell something weird or if I see something weird coming out of my vagina, <laughs> like, I'm, I get super insecure and I try to find out. Like, I, even, like, if it smells weird, like, oh, my God, I hate it. Like, I have to feel like I have to shower every couple of freaking hours. So I'm not going to lie, though. You, you can't, you cannot say that this video doesn't give at least the guys a better understanding. Like the guys that actually do judge, like I feel like it gives okay. them, it I, gives them a better understanding uh -huh. onto why. Making hair art in the shower. <laughs> I definitely don't do hair art, but um, I literally, every time I shower, hair falls out. So I put it on the wall and I have a bad habit of leaving it there. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. oh yeah yeah i have a bad habit of doing that but i feel like it's i'm gonna just say personally i don't like seeing hair in the shower but like it's nothing i could do about that you just have too much hair that falls out 
You don't like it? I don't. I personally don't like it. Like you never really told me I don't, that. I don't. This want, is actually the first time I heard yeah, him say that. But I don't like. <laughs> then why didn't you tell me? Like, what if my foot gets stuck, like in the fuck, like you know what I mean, bro? Like it's just. <laughs> It feels that's why weird. that's why I always take out my hair and put it on the wall so it doesn't go to the drain. So that way, like when I'm not lazy and like bro, ready but to shit take go, it, it out. It, it like go, if we go to the shower right now, it, you guys can see it. Bro, it's gonna go to the drain regardless. No. If I if you put it, that's my hack. Like I I comb yeah, out my hair and I freaking put it on the wall. I put it all together and then like even though I still leave it in there, I can go back and just grab it and throw it out in the garbage instead of having it in the drain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but like, but you can't relate because you don't have hair. All right, but I do fucking fog art. Like what the fuck is you know? <laughs> fog <what I> mean? <laughs> art. I hate you. You know what I mean? It's not the same. You don't have hair falling out of your freaking head. Eating a piece of food that has fell into your cleavage. <laughs> I do that. Definitely. My like sometimes when I'm laying down eating something, something falls in my boobs, I grab it and I eat it. What's the, what's the <laughs> issue? What's the issue? I, I don't see an issue with that. I don't know why people like why girls wouldn't admit that. Unless like like we said before, like if your shit is really like sweating and like you know, it's really smelly. Funky in there. Yeah. <laughs> um Reusing razors. Um, I don't use razors, okay. but I use a shaver. Yeah. I I will reuse it. I mean, I think a shaver is still considered a razor. Okay, though. I reuse it. I don't see no problem in that. If you're washing it, if you're sanitizing it, if you're making sure that there's no hair, no like residue right, so on it, it, I will reuse it because I razors are a lot of freaking money. My freaking shaver itself costs like thirty dollars. Let's put it. Let's put it in a perspective for them so they got. I have a better understanding. So like. Right when you buy your razor, it's the, the one with the soap, right? Yeah. So, you use that one, and the soap runs out. Do you use the same razor that's on there? No. So, you don't reuse razors? No, but my thing is that mine doesn't, like, the soap doesn't run out quickly. So, it gives me, like, three or four more, like, shaving nah it gives you a little bit more than that. well it gives me more than like one so i do use it yeah. i just make sure i clean it now if the soap is done around it i don't use it okay yeah so i throw it out i would say what would be nasty to not do it's is clean. like if you don't clean it and there's like hair stuck in there and like you reuse it again like that's like, but like that's the thing like it has to do with your like with you like yeah if i'm talking about like a regular razor like the razors that you use yeah okay like i'm gonna say that like i will use it but i just gotta make sure there's no hair on it there's no anything yeah. like around it i gotta make sure shit, i have to clean like it. it's not rusting or none of that exactly like, yeah. and then i'll reuse it but if i see it's like it's done it's done so this is the last question i'm, I'm just picking out a random question I'm not really like looking for like a juicy juicy question. So this is the last question pretending to stretch in order to check our armpit situation Like is this a girl speaking so Like I'm like fake stretching to smell yeah, my like armpit you're, Like fake stretching to smell, smell my like armpit. if your shit smells crazy Um no I've never done that I'll just smell it <laughs> You just go ahead and just yeah, like if it's you, you know that I'd be doing that. You know that, like if I smell something weird. I'm not gonna lie. Like if I'm in a group, like with a group of people, I'm like, yo, what is that smell? I go ahead and be like, <laughs> I don't think so. I'll just be like, because mad. like if if I smell crazy, like I'm gonna have to like think of something to do. Like I'm gonna have. To... I mean, like if I smell crazy, I'm gonna fucking say it. But that's like, the thing, though. If I be like, like if I know it's really really bad, I'll be like, guys, like. <laughs> I think I smell bad, like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing, though. With me, I take very long to get ready because I have to think about what I have to do before I leave the fucking house. And you can ask her. Yeah, oh my God. He really, like, takes forever. Like, but I make sure that I'm smelling good. But you know what other question comes with this? It's like, if you, well, for girls, like, if you ever, like, like, take your hand and like put it in your pants or even your armpit and like try to fake like put it around your face and like smell your hand 
that's Wait. like the same type of question but instead like they're doing it with like like their private down there oh so you're using your hand yeah and then oh <laughs> <laughs> i mean oh I mean, like, I've never really done that in public, but if it's just me and you, I would do it. <laughs> but Or if, like, I'm in the bathroom on myself, like, I wow. would definitely do that. I've never thought of that. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, it's, like, the same concept that you said, though. But, yeah. I think, I think we should do a part two to this video. What do you guys think? I think we should ask them what they do but won't admit. I mean, there's, yeah, I don't know. Like, I would, I, me personally, I would admit it. You would but, admit it? Yeah, but I don't think there's shit like weird things that I do. Like, I don't think not weird shit that you do, but weird shit that guys do in general. All right, yeah, because I would, I, I think I would understand why they do it. So, well, what do you guys think? Do you guys think we should do a part two to this video? Yeah. Let us know in the comments down if you guys want me to interrogate Tristan because I will do it. If you guys. <laughs> If you guys, if you guys want part two, please drop a like and uh, how many likes? Let's say like two thousand to three thousand likes for a part 3K, two. Three K, three K, three K. Three K for 3K a part two. For part two. Because we believe in y'all. Because guys, we are on the road to five hundred K. We are finally past two hundred K. So our next goal for Teen V Nation is five. 500k. 500k so let's let's get some 500ks down <laughs> in the comments let's go the notification squad we know y'all watch it and we know that for a fact ever since like that prank that i did with trey about pranking him saying that i was pregnant again that's how we knew like our real real supporters and our notification yeah. squad watches our whole entire video Cause so shout cause, out to y'all because y'all will comment as soon as the video comes out and then we'll see you guys comment at the end at the end of the video like probably like i think like minutes later yeah so shout out to you guys trust me we notice we look at the comments we read them and that's how we're doing our post notification shout outs so that's how we're really really doing it Show so the more that we see of y'all the more opportunities y'all gonna have so. exactly so post notification shout out for today's video goes out to angie bermudez so shout out to you girl thank shout you so much you. for being a part of our family thank you so much for having that bell on dm me for your prize and if you guys would like to win our hundred dollar giveaway plus our notification shout out at the end of mm -hmm. our video all you have to do is read the description down below but mainly all you guys have to do is follow us on social media it's down in the description um turn on your bell and comment when done i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i really want to do a part two so get us to 3k likes so i can interrogate him please and yeah we'll see you guys in our next video Peace.